Hi, welcome to this Corp Miles video. In this video, we're going to look at the video solutions to the Corp Miles practice questions on money and dealing with bills, and also money whenever we're reading meters. So we're going to look at the video solutions to the practice questions on those topics. If you need any extra help on those topics, if you go to Corp Miles and go to the videos and worksheet section and scroll down to video numbers 400E and 400N, the dedicated video tutorials on bills and read meters there. Alternatively, you can scan this QR code and then just scroll down. But in this video, we're going to focus on the video solutions to the practice questions. So let's get started. Okay, so question number one. Question number one says Justin is planning a trip to watch a football match and he buys two coach tickets, two football tickets and three nights at a hotel. And these are the prices. And the question says how much does Justin pay in total? So this is a calculator question, so that's quite nice. Okay, so let's start off by looking at the coach tickets. He buys two coach tickets and they cost £37 each. So if we do two multiplied by £37, that'll give us the price of the coach tickets. And if we had to calculate a question, two times 37 is equal to 74. So the coach tickets, the two coach tickets cost £74. Okay, he buys two football tickets. So the football tickets are £75 each. So if we do two multiplied by 75, that's equal to £150. So the two football tickets cost £150 in total. And then the hotel. The hotel, he books three nights at the hotel, and the hotel costs £145 per night. So if we do three multiplied by £145, that's equal to £435. So that means that the three nights at the hotel cost a total of £435. Now the question asks is how much does Justin pay in total? So he's paying for the coach tickets, the football tickets, and the night at the hotel. So we're going to do 74 plus 150 plus £435, and that's equal to, if we add those all up, we get an answer of £659, £659. So that's how much it costs, £659, £659. And that's it. Okay, let's look at our next question. So question number two. Question number two says, John hired a bicycle when he was on holiday, and there's a fixed cost of £10. So he's going to pay £10 no matter what, and then a higher cost of £9 per day. And he hired the bicycle for a week, which is seven days. And the question says, how much does John have to pay for hiring the bicycle? So let's work out how much he has to pay. So he has to pay a fixed cost of £10, so he has to pay £10 no matter what, and then £9 per day for seven days. So if we do nine multiplied by seven, that tells how much it costs for the seven days at £9 a day, and then we just need to add on £10. Okay, so nine times seven, that's equal to 63, and then we've still got our adding our 10 pounds, so nine times seven is 63 pound. Adding on 10 more pounds would be equal to 73 pound. So it costs 73 pound to hire the bicycle, because if we do nine times seven, that's equal to 63 plus the extra 10 pound, and that's equal to 73 pound, and that's it. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number three. So question number three is a calculator question. And we're told the car uses 1,608 units of electricity and that each unit costs 39p. And we've been asked how much does Carl have to pay for the electricity? So he uses 1,608 units of electricity and each unit costs 39p. So we just need to do 39p multiplied by 1,608. Now, whenever we multiply 39p by 1,608, we're going to be into the pounds, obviously. So I'm going to change this into pounds, 0.39 pounds, and I'm going to do 0.39 multiplied by 1,608 and see what we get. Now, we could just do 39 times 1,608 and then change it into pounds afterwards, but I'm just doing it to begin with. So 0.39 so multiplied by 1,608 is equal to 627 pound and 12 pence. So that's how much Carl has to pay for the electricity, £627.12. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number four. Okay, so question number four says, Tarek hires a digger for nine days, and the cost of hiring the digger is £125 per day. And he paid a £500 deposit at the beginning, and then pays the remainder of the amount that he has to pay whenever he returned the digger. How much does Tarek have to pay whenever he returns the digger? Okay, so let's work out the cost of the digger to begin with. So it's nine days at £125 a day. It's an uncalculator question, so let's just do it without a calculator. So £125 multiplied by nine. So nine times five is equal to 45, put a five down, carry a four. Nine times two is equal to 18, plus four is 22, put a two down, carry a two. And nine times one is equal to nine, plus two is equal to 11. So that's equal to £1,125. Now he's already paid £500 to begin with, so let's take that £500 away because he just has to pay the remainder whenever he returns the digger. So £1,125, take away £500, and let's see what we get. 5 take away 0 is 5, 
2 take away 0 is 2. 1 take away 5, let's borrow. So we've now got 11 take away 5, and that's equal to 6. So how much does Tarek have to pay when he's returning the digger? The answer is £625. He has to pay £625 whenever he returns the digger. And that's it. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number five. So question number five says, Timothy's going to buy a card that costs £28,000 and he pays £425 per month for five years. And at the end of the five years, he has to make one final payment. And the question says, how much is the final payment? So let's work out how much Timothy pays over the five years. So he pays £425 per month. Now there's 12 months in a year. If we do five times 12, that'll tell us how many monthly payments he's made. And 5 times 12, that's in your times table, so you should know that's 60 straight away. So you make 60 monthly payments. And each one of those monthly payments is £425. So if we do 425 multiplied by 60, that's equal to 25,500. So that means that he's paid £25,500 over the five years. Now the card costs £28,000 and he has to pay the final payment at the end. So, so if we take how much he's paid away from the cost of the car, we'll see how much that final payment is. So if we do 28000 subtract 25500 that's equal to £2,500. So he has to pay £2,500 at the end of the five years and that's it. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number six. So question number six says, the cost of Clara's telephone bill is shown below. So she's got to pay a line rental of £23.05 monthly. So every single month, she's got to pay £23.05p for the line rental. And then she has to pay 3p per minute for her telephone calls. And in November, her bill was £31.03. And the question says, how many minutes worth of calls did Clara make in November? Okay, so her total bill for November was £31.03. So if we take away how much her line rental is, that'll tell us how much she's paid for her calls. So let's take our £31.03 and subtract £23.05 and see what we get. 3 take away 5, well, we're going to need to borrow. So let's cross that off and call that a 10 and borrow again. So that's now a 9 and a 13. 13 take away 5 is equal to 8. 9 take away 0 is equal to 9. 0 take away 3, let's borrow. So we've now got a 2 and a 10. 10 take away 3 is equal to 7. And 2 take away 2 is equal to 0. So that means that her telephone calls in November cost her £7.98. Now each minute of telephone calls costs 3 pence. So if we divide the total cost of those calls by 3 pence, we'll see how many minutes of calls she made. So we need to do £7.98 divided by 3p. So let's do 798 pence divided by 3. So how many 3s go into 7? 2 remainder 1. How many 3s go into 19? Well, 3 times 6 is 18, so that's going to be 6 remainder 1. And how many 3s go into 18? That's going to be equal to 6. So she's made 266 minutes of calls in November. So the answer is 266. And that's it. She made 266 minutes worth of calls in November. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number 7. So question number seven says, Dominic's been paying £55 a month to his electricity company for the last year. And for his electricity, he's charged a fixed charge of £12 a month and 35p for each unit of electricity that he uses. And he used the total of 1,452 units of electricity. Has Dominic paid enough for his electricity? Explain your answer. So we need to find out whether this £55 a month monthly payment that he made for the last year is enough to cover his electricity bill. So let's first of all work out how much he's paid. If we take the £55 and we multiply that by 12 because he's paid for a year, so that's 12 months, and we do 55 times 12, 55 times 12 is equal to £660. So that means he's paid £660. Now let's work out the cost of his electricity bill over the last year and work out if he's paid enough or not. So he's got to pay a fixed charge of £12 a month. So there's £12 a month and there's 12 months, so 12 times 12, now we know that already, is £144, you know in our times tables. So that means that the fixed charge for the whole year is £144, so that's how much he's paid. Okay, now let's work out the cost of the electricity used. He used 1,452 units and they cost 35p each. So if we take the 35p, now I'm going to change it into pounds with 0.35 and I'm going to multiply that by 1,452. And let's see what that is for the electricity that he used. So 1,452 multiplied by 0.35 is equal to 508 pound 
and 20 pence. So that means the electricity that he used cost 508 pound and 20p. He also has to pay a fixed charge of 144 pound for the whole year. And if we add those two together, that'll tell us the grand total of his electricity bill. So let's do 508 pound and 20 pence plus 144 pound. And that's equal to 652 pound and 20 pence. So that's the total cost of his electricity bill over the last year. Now he's paid 660 pound. So £660 is more than what he has to pay. So has he paid enough money for his electricity? Yes, he's actually paid £7.80 more, and that's it. And I've just written down that £660, what he's paid, greater than £652.20, which would be his total bill for the year. Okay, let's look at the next question, question number eight. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number eight. So question number eight is, Anna hired a limousine for her wedding, and she was charged £47.75p per hour, plus a fixed charge of £50. And Anna paid a total of £288.75p for the limousine. And we've been asked to work out how long Anna had the limousine for. Okay, so we want to work out how long she's hired the limousine for. Now, we've got the total price. So if we take away the fixed charge, that'll tell us how much is left for the hourly payment. So if we do £288, and 75p, take away the fixed charge of 50 pound, that's equal to 238 pound and 75p. So if we know she's charged 47 pound and 75p per hour, whenever we multiply that by the number of hours, she'll get an answer of 238 pound and 75p. So if we divide that 238 pound and 75p by 47 pound and 75p, that'll tell us how many hours Anna hired the limousine for. So if we do 238.75 divided by 47.75, that's equal to five. So that means that Anna hired the limousine for five hours. And we can check that if we do five times 47 pound 75, and then add 50, we'll get an answer of 288 pound and 75p. So how long did she hire the limousine for? The answer is five hours, and that's it. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number nine. So question number nine says, here's part of Sanders gas bill. So we've got the old reading and we've got the new reading. And we're told that each unit costs 26 pence. And we've been asked to work out how much Sandra has to pay for the gas used. Okay, so in terms of the way her gas meter works, the gas meter just keeps on increasing as you use the gas. And so whenever she paid her last bill, the reading that was on the meter was 39,451 or 39,451. And the new reading, so whenever she's reading it now to work out how much gas she's used, it says 40,722 or 40722. If we take away the old reading from the new reading, we'll work out how many units of gas Sandra has used. So if we do 47, so if we do 40,722 subtract 39,451, that's equal to how many units of gas she's used. And if we do that subtraction, we get an answer of... 1,271. So that means that Sandra had used 1,271 units of gas since the old reading. Now each unit of gas costs 26 pence. So if we multiply the number of units used by the cost of one unit, we can work out the total amount she'll have to pay for the gas used. So we need to do 26p multiplied by 1,271. Now I'm gonna change the 26 pence into pounds because I know whenever I multiply 26p by 1,271, it's gonna be quite a large number. So I'm gonna multiply it by, so I'm gonna change it into pounds, which is 0 0.26 pounds, multiply by 1,271. And whenever we multiply 0 0.26 by 1,271, we get an answer of, 330 pound and 46 pence. So how much money will Sandra have to pay for her gas shoes? The answer is 330 pound and 46 pence. And that's it. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number 10. Okay, so question number 10 says, here's part of a customer's electricity bill. We've got the old reading and the new reading, a bit similar to the last question. And the total cost of the electricity used was £804.78. And, and the question asks us to work out the cost of each unit of electricity. So in a, a bit like our last question, we know the reading when the last time it was read, and we've got the new reading. So if we take them away, we can work out the number of units of electricity used. So 71309 subtract 68942 is equal to... 2,367. So that means that 2,367 units of electricity have been used since the old reading. Now we've been asked to work out the cost of each unit of electricity. Now this time we know the total price of the bill. So if we divide the total price by the number of units used, we can work out the cost of each unit. So let's take the total cost of the electricity, 804 pound and 78 pence, and divide that by 2,367 and see what we get. So 
804.78 divided by 2367 is equal to 0.34. So that means each unit of electricity cost 34 pence. So how much was each unit of electricity? 34 pence. And we can check our answer. If you take 34p and multiply by 2,367, we should get an answer of 804 pound and 78 pence. And that's it. So how much was each unit of electricity? The answer is 34p. Okay, let's look at our last question, question number 11. So question number 11 says that Kate hired a car for nine days. And when she got the car, the mileage on the car was 19,883 miles. And when she returned the car, the mileage on the car was 20,666 miles. And the cost of hiring the car was £55 per day. And if Katie drove more than 500 miles, she has to pay a fee of 72p for each additional mile. And the question is, how much did Kate have to pay for hiring the car? Okay, so there's a lot of information there. Now, first of all, I'm going to start off by looking here. She hires the car for nine days, and it's £55 per day. So if we do nine multiplied by £55, that's a good start. So nine multiplied by 55 is equal to £495. So she has to pay £495 to start with. Now, let's have a look at the mileage. If she drives more than 500 miles, she has to pay a fee of 72p per mile. So let's work out how many miles Kate has driven. So if we take away the old reading, what it said on the meter when she got the car, from what it says now, we can work out how many more miles Kate has driven. So if we do 20,666 subtract 19,883, that's equal to... 783 miles. So that's how many miles Kate has driven over the nine days. Now, we're told that if she drives more than 500 miles, which she has done, there's a fee of 72p for each additional mile. So let's work out the number of additional miles. So she's allowed to do 500. So if we take 500 away from that, so 783, take away 500, that's equal to 283 miles. So there's 283 additional miles. And they cost 72p each. So if we do 283 multiplied by 72p, that'll tell us the cost of those additional miles. So 72p, now I've changed it to 0 0.72 because we're dealing in pounds here. Multiply by 283 is equal to, that's equal to 203 pound and 76 pence. So the cost of doing those 283 extra miles was 203 pounds and 76 pence. Now we want to know how much Kate had paid for hiring the car. So she has to pay the £495 and she also has to pay the fee for the additional miles. So we need to add those two together. So let's do £495 plus £203 and 76 pence and see what we get. So when we add those together, we get an answer of £698 and 76 pence. So that's how much Kate has to pay for hiring the car. And that's it. And that's it. So these have been the video solutions to the Corp Miles practice questions on the money topics of bills and reading meters. I really hope you found this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, if you need any extra help on these two topics, if you go to Corp Miles, go to the videos and worksheet section and scroll down to video numbers 400E and 400N. There's dedicated video tutorials there for you. But I really hope you found this video useful and thanks so much for watching. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.